All right. Um, as you can probably tell from a lot of the titles that you are seeing in the program, uh, tonight's theme for the concert is generally Disney themed, although you can probably also notice that I took a little bit of liberties with that. It certainly helps when Disney owns pretty much every piece of media out there, so everything is Disney-ish, uh, including that first piece, The Avengers. Uh, next up we have Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. Uh, in both of these pieces, you'll notice we've been working on in class on our nice short articulations without clipping the notes. So the goal is to get a nice light sound and also keep it short while still playing with good tone. Um, and this is also going to help us, and we talk about this a lot in the worship center because we've got such a big space. We need to make sure our notes are short, so that way by the time it travels out to you, the audience, you guys can still hear everything clearly. And you're going to hear this nicely in the opening with our woodwinds playing up nice in their high register and nice and short. So here is Under the Sea. So those first two pieces of music were really kind of appetizers for the next two. Uh, in our next two pieces of music, you're going to hear a lot more musical complexity in these. Our first two pieces of music I picked kind of as warm-ups into the school year to get us playing together nicely. And then as we got comfortable playing with each other and listening around and blending, we started to work on some more complex stuff. Uh, this next piece of music highlights from Star Wars is not just one piece of music uh, as we've heard throughout the concert so far this evening, but multiple pieces of music smashed into one. So we are going to have quite a few time changes, tempo changes, um, and style changes, which is 
uh, really important for listening and making sure we are playing together. And you are going to hear a lot of part independence, which we haven't had so far this evening. A lot of our students having to play by themselves or with a small group of others. So please enjoy highlights from Star Wars. As we feel the winter months coming, I figured it was appropriate to end the concert or this portion of the concert with a fan favorite, Let It Go from Frozen. Um, and this one also deals with a lot of part complexity. We've got a lot of passing back and forth with the melody between our musicians. So please enjoy Let It Go.
back. We're, we're going to invite our middle school jazz musicians back up with us. Um, so what you heard up here first is our high school only group. Um, we rehearse once a week um, because during the week the middle schoolers go to their houses and do whatever middle schoolers do during flex. I try not to think about it too much. But um, while they're gone, the high schoolers rehearse and we get a little bit of a bonus rehearsal every week. So during our concerts, we throw together a tune or two that's extra uh, just to keep the chops moving while the middle schoolers are gone and to uh, just have a little bit of fun. So our middle schoolers are back up and our first tune you're going to hear with the whole group is If I Didn't Have You from Monsters, Inc. Oh, before I forget, our last tune featured Travis and Jake soloing. Give them another round of applause. All right. And you will hear a couple more soloists in this one. Feel free to applaud after solos. soloists on that last tune was Joel and Annie. Go ahead and give them another round of applause. Our next piece of music, uh, You've Got a Friend in Me, is going to feature Logan on alto. 
And a quick note about the solos for those who may not be aware. Um, in jazz band, um, we do this thing called improvisation, where essentially you make it up as you go. So there are a little bit of parameters that we follow, but for the most part, it's up to the musicians to figure it out themselves, and it's a lot of trial and error. So we start class every day by doing improvisation for the class, um, which is a bit nerve-wracking at first for most, but they get used to it. Um, and oftentimes, composers will write written solos in the music. Sometimes we follow them, but most of the time, the students are making it up as they go, which has been the case for all of the solos so far. So here is You've Got a Friend in Me. time on the alto. All right. We are going to close out this portion of the concert with Wanna Be Like You from The Jungle Book. Uh, this is a little bit of a different version from the movie original. We have a more of a samba feel rather than a regular swing, so you'll enjoy hearing that. And we've got a, quite a few kids featuring on solos on this one, which we will acknowledge at the end. But here is Wanna Be Like You.
our next piece of music. Um, when I handed it out, um, made quite a few of the students a little emotional when they first saw what they were going to be playing, recognized the melody, remembering the uh, parts of the movie where they hear this melody specifically at the beginning of the movie. Um, and they're doing a really great job conveying this along with keeping it nice and fun, especially at the end as we kind of take a journey through the music of Up throughout the movie. Uh, both Aladdin and the selections from Up are both medleys, so it's a bunch of music smashed into one, uh, like we talked about with Concert Band. So you're gonna hear quite a bit uh, of a change in their playing as we go throughout this music. So please enjoy selections from Up.
one more piece of music for you tonight. Uh, before we get to that, a couple house, uh, housekeeping things. After we are finished with this last piece of music, we're going to call all the students up to the stage, help us stack chairs, get everything moved, so that way it can be done for the morning and we don't have to worry about it tomorrow. While they're doing that, a uh, reminder, because uh, it's going to take them a few minutes, you can stop by our booster meeting and uh, see how you can help out with our pizza challenge. Um, and that's going to be directly after this meeting. Um, do we want to do it just here or should we go to the banner? Right here is good. So just come up to the front of the stage, uh, see how you can help us out with the pizza challenge. Again, nothing is too small for that. It takes quite a lot of work to get that rolling. For our last piece of music, we have something that's been stuck in my head for the past three months, um, the bare necessities. It's probably gonna show up on my number one on Spotify this year, I would probably guess. Um, this piece of music, uh, is going to function a little bit more like a jazz tune than a typical piece that we play in symphonic band. It is going to feature quite a few soloists. However, differently from jazz band, I'm going to ask that as the soloists play, you hold your applause to the end because um, they go by pretty quickly and we don't want you to miss anything. So here is the bare necessities. And once again, before we get to this, thank you all for coming this evening. It's been great working on this music with all of your students. And as we go throughout the rest of the school year, there is going to be plenty of music to come. So hopefully you can make it out to our later concerts. Thank you again for coming. <laughs>